Um, why, why do I love the Philippines? Now, the first thing is, it was never a country I was planning on going to. But the moment the, the plane came over to land at Cebu Airport, and I could see the, the blue waters and the green trees, and it, 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 it was something new and exciting, but at the same time, it just felt home. Um, it, it was just something that turned around and said, this is the place I want to be. Um, the other side of that being, in the UK, I need at least one and a half thousand pounds a month just to break even. Um, in the Philippines, when I first moved out there with my wife, well, my wife was already there, we were living on about uh, less than 100 pounds a month, maybe about 80 pounds a month. Um, we're buying rice and chicken most nights with a soy sauce, very basic. And the fact is, we survived, we were happy. Um, you appreciate stuff um, because I think, for me, um, I think the UK has lost its way. Uh, I want to, you know, like I want to go hiking across the Breckens and stuff. You can't really do it on the. On the during the week in, in the UK. But the Philippines, I said, you know what, I want to go to the mountains tonight. You would just go, just go and do it. Nobody's bothering you, and nobody's like, hey, you know what, you got work in the morning, you got to, you know, it's, I know for the locals it's probably very different um, um, because they don't have, this, you know, the income's always relative. But at the same time, for me, um, I could go up into the mountains and enjoy being in the mountains on the, you know, go up on the, back then it was my little moped, now it's a motorbike, or then I had a GP, multi-cab, then the big 4x4. Four four. Um, the fact is, we did a lot of stuff. Um, that in a normal working day, working for another company, you would never do. You don't have the time. You don't have a a flexible company that would do it for you. There, every morning I could wake up. I would be would be woken up by roosters, but you got the the warm sun. You go outside; it's hot. Everybody's nice. You know, everybody wants to talk to you, even you know everybody around you. And even if you get on the bus, people are asking where you're from and stuff like that. It was, everything is just positive, you know, because I think that's what all the people miss, because you'll hear people say, Filipinos always smile, that it's not smiling, Filipinos are generally always positive, um, on stuff like that, there is what's called crab mentality, um, which is a different subject, but for the average thing, you know, people are generally happy around you, um, and crap mentality, to be honest, is global. Um, but I know in the UK, because I'm back here now, I go outside, it's overcast. It rains. People seem miserable. People talk about the economy. People talk about the elections. People complain about the cost of everything. Philippines, people are like... Why well, worry about it? You can't change it. You know, it's just that sort of attitude. Um, it's only got food on the table and a roof over your head. So what? You know, we'll work out tomorrow. Tomorrow. And that's that's one of the things I loved about the. From, well, I still love about the Philippines, but also it's just the the friend friendship is very good. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends there. Uh, and if I could complain about something in the Philippines, um, it would have to be how the level of corruption is out of control. Um, that's that's the one thing that bothers me most because it affects everybody. But more importantly, when there's disaster relief, um, it affects the the worst hit worst. Um, and that's a bit sad. Alright, thanks for watching.